Hello everyone, this is Arale. We are now at part two of Dimensions and Transcendence Tier 1. We are at the right node. We have a Squex Airlines team with three wonderful pilots in Ramza, Cloud, and Kais. This is my setup. I'm going to get ready to, um, to roll with it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure because I actually just got new arts on him and I wasn't sure if I changed them or not. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to go right into it. So this fight is all about launching. The orb is going to increase when you launch. Um, yeah. And you probably want to try to sneak in as much damage as possible wherever you can. Because these guys, you give them an inch and they'll take a mile. And it's really annoying having to deal with their inside-outside mechanic. They're not the worst fight we've had, but they're kind of annoying. So we're going to use that Kais LD and get that Brave Fleet buff going. Alright, lovely. We're going to Blade Beam right off the gate. Let's go ahead and get into Shout Buffs Rank 3. So we can get those free HP pluses when we decide we're going to use them. And I'm going to go right here, behind Cloud, with the hero support. Dude's going to launch anyway, but, you know, it's all about getting about, getting Kais behind there so we can do the, uh, the special launch brave HP+. Plus. Okay. Here we go. And... That one is now at 90, and the other one... I'm gonna go ahead and just do this, and there we go. Meteor Rain. And Claude's going to have this uh, nice buff up for probably a little while. Anyway. Not that it matters. <laughs> You're not going to keep that Thunder and Peril on long. Okay. Let's go ahead. Innervate over here on B. And we'll go hide right behind Claude here. So they want you to, to launch these guys when um, they're hiding in their shells. And that will allow you to do the normal damage thing again. Okay. So. At this point, we're going to finishing touch. And I'm going to actually use the... Selkie Brave Plus, because I'm not going to have time to remove all that Brave otherwise. Alright, there we go. So, every turn that they stay in the shell like this, they will gain Brave back. So, it's best to try to let them come out if you can. Totally understandable if not, but most part you should try to let them Stay in the shell. Or stay out of the shell. Okay. So when they get under uh, 80, they normally would go into their shell, but he's not going to be able to until he takes his turn. Okay. Now he did. So. Let's 
go ahead and get A over here under that 80% mark now. And again, they're going to want you to launch. If you are a super skilled player, you may be able to get them to do that without worrying about it. All right. And we'll do this. Okay, and on the Ramza side here, things, we're just going to HP attack. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're about to take this little HP attack. Boom, boom. Alright, we're alright, we're alright. Even with the break. We're good. We don't want to use the blade beams quite yet. Alright, dude. You couldn't do enough brave damage there. Too bad for you. Alright. Meteor rain. Yeah. Alright, cool. We'll do this. And we'll follow up with this lovely interview. Which will protect my party from any breaks here. Yay! Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blade beam here. And then I'm going to launch A with um, the LB from my boy, Ramza. All right. This time we have time to remove the 69k breaking. I'm not too worried about that. Speaking of, here we go. Doing that now. All right, we're going to shout and let it all out. I love the fact that Ramza instant breaks with shout. It's like his shout is so loud. And so intimidating, it literally breaks your eardrums to hear it. Not only that, it breaks your brave bonuses too. Okay. Go right here. And... Go ahead. Hit B with this cross slash plus. Okay. And there. Alright, and B wants to react, but really can't do anything. Alright, so we're gonna do that because we're about to get hit with another sparkle stream in like a moment. And there's really not much I can do about it. Maybe I can get lucky. I'm not gonna die if he did hit me. Oh snap, I cannot believe that actually worked. Okay. Cool. <laughs> not gonna complain, but find that very surprising. That worked. Um, I 
Alright. No, wait, I don't want to do that yet. We're gonna break them, though. We're gonna do, like, no damage, because you do less damage while they're... until they're launched, too. It's kind of, it's kind of crummy. Alright. Here you go, though. We're gonna do a big boy launch in just a second, so... Let's go ahead and launch this guy. Because the moment he goes in the air, the HP damage reduction thing and all that goes away, too. Yay. Let's go ahead and sky high. Go high. Into the sky. Alright. Gotta get him under 40% or so before we decide we're gonna go ahead and, uh, what's it called? Summon our heart out. And burst and all that good jazz. Okay. There we go. Do a light heal there, too. Alright, and that nice sap helped out quite a bit. And we're going to let old Cloudy Cloud Cloud do this next launch. Here, hold on. But before we do that, yeah. Wow, uh... Cool, dope. We got the we got the the um paralyzed to go off again. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got one under 40, the, at the 49% mark. And once you do that, that's when uh, the orb will be back, of course. So, I want to do this, and then I'm going to let Kais go in. Getting close to that 40% mark. So we'll we'll start doing this stuff. Alright. Now with all that done, I can safely and securely go for a launch.
See, like in my pra my practice run, I actually had finished this fight by now. I don't know what I'm doing differently, it, but I attribute a lot of it to playing and commentating. It's a lot harder than you think. I have uh, a lot of respect for streamers who can do this stuff on air, and on top of that, still like give amazingly useful commentary. I hope I can improve to be on that level one day. Not quite there yet. We're gonna go ahead. Do that. And do this break plus again. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm gonna blade beam, and that way I can get right into Ramsa's turn. All right, and now I got to exactly where I said I needed to be. So we're gonna go ahead, do an attack up, and we're gonna go for broke. There we go. And then I'll do this HP plus. Boom, boom. Alright, and Ultima. Here we go. We gotta get ready to go ham the rest of the way. One point four one mil. Okay, I'll take it. And here we go for more launches, more launches. These pilots are not done flying yet. And we got the, the best combo, LD into EX and launch twice in one go. Let's do it. I want to say I have a blade beam left, but we'll check. If not, it's no big deal. Be super nice though. Oh, oh snap. Okay, yeah, we're good. And now we're going to just spam the rest of these hero supports.
All right. More, more launches, more, more chases into the sky. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Both of them now at 1%. I just gotta love two sparkle streams. <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna use a lot more turns than I want to for this, but oh well. Happens. Like I said, uh, I've finished this in on my own in like 50 turns, so. Just to give you an idea how much better I performed <laughs> than on this run. Uh, Alright, so that takes care of one. But thankfully, there is no HP requirement. So, as long as you beat it in the turn count, you should be okay. And that could have probably been done a little smoother. But again, I can't just spend all day trying to do it for you guys perfectly while commentating. So, I'm going to take this win for what it is. And like I said, I did much better on my own. But again, when you can think out all your plays um, and, and take as much time as you want, it's a little different. So anyway, that's going to take care of part two of tackling Dimensions and Transcendence, tier one. That was Crucible number two. Um, and we're going to go in a moment and tackle the final stage of this tier. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll be right back.